Hi friends, some people bring to me used laptop batteries, in which usually installed lithium-ion batteries of 18650 standard. To check the battery capacity by discharge method, first they need to be charged, so I decided to make the cheapest simple charger. The charger is automatic. Everything is very simple. When the battery is installed, the red indicator light is on. As soon as the green light comes on, the charge is complete. The project is based at well-known models on microchips TP4056. These are specialty boards that are designed for the correct charging of lithium batteries. Charging is carried out by the method of stable current stable voltage. On the boards there are LED indicators. The maximum charge current is 1 ampere for ordinary 18650 cans is ok. By the way, the charge current depends on the specified resistor. Here is the table of the output current dependence from the resistance. If there is a ready-made module, it's only possible to prepare the box and everything will finish. But I did the other way. I quickly draw a board for simultaneously charged four batteries. Components will install at PCB track side, so the boards need to be mirrored. But I forgot about it and eventually had to turn the chips upside down. In the description you can find already mirrored boards so that it just needs to be printed. SMD components I got from defected boards. Soldering SMD details isn't an easy task, so I advise not to bother with them and put the ready-made boards. I must say that I have a smart charger named XTAR VC4, an excellent instrument for charging virtually any battery. But it has only four slots, that is, it is impossible to charge more than four batteries at the same time. The microchip TP4056 has a substrate for heat dissipation. Because they were turned, I forced to connect the substrate to the ground with a copper tape. This was done exclusively for intensive heat removal. At currents of 1 ampere, the chip became very hot. The copper lines of the board play the role of a large heat sink. Taking into account the area, there will be no problems with overheating of the microchips, which can't be said about the regular boards. Next, we need these pads, between which the battery is clamped and the charge current flows. They can be taken from broken chargers or toys. It is advisable to use such boxes, but I only have a couple of them. All chips are powered through same power bus, that is, their inputs are connected in parallel. If we charge a much discharged battery, the current consumption of the charger will be more than 4 amperes. Taking into account the losses, it can reach 5 amperes, so we must think about the power source. Now, it isn't easy to find 5 volt adapters for any current. This charger could power from any suitable 5 volt source. As a last resort, you can use a 5V bus of any computer power supply, if the size doesn't really matter. The current on that bus in the standard computer power supply units can be more than 30 amperes. This charger can charge any lithium-ion batteries, but remember that the maximum charge current is limited to 1 ampere. It remains only to make a box for charger. By the way, it works no worse than expensive chargers. Of course, you can't see field capacity, the charge current and voltage on the battery as, for example, on this charger. The process indication here is very simple, but sometimes you just need to charge the batteries without going into the process. This charger is just for such cases. All the necessary information, including a full archive of a circuit and PCB, will be found on the link in the description. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. With you was Hassan TV. Goodbye.